Thank you very much, Mr. Trump. I appreciate your answer. Mr. Sanders, uh, Senator Sanders, sorry, I have not addressed you correctly all Bernie. evening. Bernie, we're friends, friends here. Bernie, we're all friends. That's stretching it, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, hug. See the left, the right, we can all hug. You're, you're still getting the hard questions. So we were asking about Syria earlier. Please answer the following question, if yeah. you would, please. Sure. Uh, Syria is A, a country, B, a type of food, C, a geological formation, or D, the thing on your car that nobody knows what it does, but it must be important or they wouldn't have put it on there in the first place. Or E, is the little plastic thing on the bottom of your shoelace that nobody knows the name of. This is a trick question. See, Mr. Trump, you don't get all the hard questions sometimes. I don't. The answer is, it's all of them. Okay, it's very simple. It's all of them. In the country, they have geographic features, they have cars, they have shoelaces, they have whatever the hell the other thing was. So, it's all of them. We, in a, in a way, now let, let's talk more philosophical. Let's talk deeper. Mr. Carson will go with me on this. Let's talk deeper. Aren't we all Syria in a way? No? <laughs> uh, that was, that was <laughs> Can you please hand the mic to Mrs. Clinton? Thank you, Colonel Sanders. Uh, we took a Facebook poll and we got a question off of Facebook, Mrs. Clinton. The Obama's White House food menu was so strict, the chef that had been there since your husband's administration quit. If elected, will you allow sugar back in the White House and rehire the chef? No, the chef has to go. Uh, Bill approved of them, and frankly, anything Bill approved of, I've got serious questions about. Um, is sugar coming back in? Uh, it depends. Do I, am I going to get a payoff by this by the industry? There's so many different things I have to factor in. I really can't answer that completely at this moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Bill approved of the whiskey, but okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and the cigars. I, I think that was her point. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was her point. <laughs> oh, um, actually, I'm, I'm running out of questions. Uh, Dr. Carson, in your book, the, uh, America the Beautiful, the overwhelming majority of Americans want the southern borders uh, secured, of our country secured, and our immigration laws enforced. But several administrations have been unwilling to get tough on this issue they don't want to alienate a large voting block of Latinos. This is yet another area where our government's leadership and the wishes of many of the people diverge and the people are being ignored, in the quote. So my question for you is this, if you were to gain the presidency, would you make decisions based on what the people wanted or on what was right? I come from the people. I am the people. I love the people. I separate the people when they're together. <laughs> that is several times. I've even put some back together. It's awesome. Here's the thing about our borders. We're in real trouble with our borders. They are porous, and people are coming in. That's how serious this problem is. And our current administration is letting people just come in and come in and come in. They're not checking any IDs. They won't ask for any IDs. This is a real problem. If I'm elected, I don't know about a wall. I don't know if we need a big wall. We've got predator drones flying around. And yes, I probably would kill some of the people. But still, they would not come in after we take a couple out. That's awesome. Sounds good. <laughs> As we end this debate, we would like each of the candidates to take 30 seconds and speak to local politics in the state of Colorado. Take 30 seconds and if you would all each please tell us why we all believe that Casper Stockham should be the congressional elect for uh, Congressional District 1 here in the state of Colorado. Please, 30 seconds, Mrs. Clinton. I have to say, um, have, having gotten to know Casper and looking at uh, Diana DeGett, uh, let's just face it, uh, Diana DeGett has not done nearly enough, and Casper will certainly fill what is needed within Congressional District 1. Amen.
All right, now let, let me explain uh, a few things. First off, I am the one you want to vote for for president, and this is, I've already explained why. We're going to cut your salaries, it's going to raise your taxes, we're going to, we're going to uh, destroy the infrastructure, all right? Now let me say this, this is very, very important. CASPER stands for everything I am against. Therefore, if you do not agree with my very logical and common sense approach, then maybe you should vote for him. Thank you, Mr. Trump, please. Thank you, that's great. Listen, we have to start on a local level. We do. All politics is local, am I right? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm going. Okay. And uh, Gasper's fantastic. We had a discussion earlier. Oh my gosh. When you come into this town from the uh, airport out in Kansas, DIA, <laughs> the first thing you see is a massive blue horse with red eyes. Are they trying to terrify me? <laughs> Are they trying to scare people out of here? And this, this thing that they attach to the airport. Now, this is all through the Democrats. That's their doing. It looks, now it's got the Westin on there. It looks like a teepee, and then Darth Vader trying to make love to a teepee. I don't understand. <laughs> What's going, the minute Casper takes off, is that's gone. That horse is going to be, I'm <laughs> We're going to put that on the Canadian board of that horse. <laughs> because Canadians are terrified of horses. <laughs> and it's going to scare those frost backs right back to Edmonton. Isn't there a 30-second timeline yeah, on yeah, this? Uh, Mr. Trump, I mean, get to your point, please. Do you the think hockey the hockey the thing they're sport down here? The hockey sport? And then you blow the whistle <laughs> and the little guy has to go in the gla glass blocks and pretend he's sad? <laughs> That's foreign to us. And besides, you really serious about this guy? Do you want to stare at Mr. Potato Head for four years? I close my eyes. <laughs> Thank you for your endorsement of Mr. Fox. Be honest. <laughs> Dr. Carson. The thing about Casper is that he looks a lot like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, I see no reason that we should not vote for him. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. Anybody that looks like me, he's kind, he's gentle, he's quiet. Is this mic on? <laughs> he's just someone that really makes me feel like I'm looking in a mirror, a younger mirror. <laughs> and I just really think that he's the kind of guy that Colorado would really resonate with. Especially C1. So, yes, I definitely would support Casper for Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, you can vote for Paul. Thank you very much to our panel.